What is going on, family? I hope everybody's having an absolutely incredible day. Listen, I'm glad that you're tuning into this video because you are going to see real time exactly what a day looks like for Damon Dillard. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take you in the house with me, but you will kind of see a little bit of my process. Guys, I'm extremely excited for you to jump on this video. I'm extremely grateful uh, for the fact that you just are viewing this thing. And at the same time, you're excited about your life. The reason why you got on this video is because you felt that there may be some insights that are going to lead you to you having the best year and the best life you've ever had. I promise that the principles that you'll hear on every single one of my videos will be practical and things that you can immediately apply to see outstanding change in your life. So I want to get right into the message today. The message today is about self-awareness. Okay, self-awareness. The reason I bring this up, my wife called me a little bit earlier today. Actually, she sent me a text message and it was so insightful. It was, it was very thought-provoking. She asked me, she said, babe, what drives you? Are, are you listening to me? What drives you? How insightful, right? So I'm sitting there and I actually sent her a text back really quick. I said, accomplishment right because I was actually in between houses uh, I was trying to get to my next house I was trying to figure out where I was going next and I said accomplishment just like that and and as I'm driving around she didn't respond and because she didn't respond it actually made me really ponder a what was she thinking when she asked the question right did she already know the answer before she asked me or B was that the correct answer now Think about that from a relative sense. Is that the correct answer? Not necessarily correct for me, but is that the truth? Is that the truth that I believe in for myself? Is what really drives me accomplishment? So as I'm going through this, I want you to ask yourself, over the past five years, with every decision that you've made up until this point, what's been driving you? Another question I want you to ask yourself is over the last five years, whose opinions have you cared the most about? Whose opinions have controlled the majority of your decisions? So I'm driving around and I'm thinking to myself and I'm thinking to myself and I'm like, man, that's a really great question. And then I began to think to myself, you know what? I believe that the answer is fear, right? I know we talk a lot about the whys, and I think that's such a cliche nowadays. I think that's such a, a cop-out for this personal development jargon that people just throw around like words like entrepreneurship, and people don't really understand what that means. It's so built up into a cliche that we look at, and it's a cute meme, but honestly, what is your why? What really drives you, Damon? What really drives you? So I thought to myself, you know what? When I made the greatest change in my life, and I think all of us have a point when we really change and we begin to do something different with our lives. And that day is something as simple as saying, I'm fed up. I am done. I am fed up. And for me, that day happened. And I believe what's pushed me farther and farther and farther away from that discomfort that I felt in that moment, guys, was fear. A lot of people talk about fear in a bad way, right? Because again, they're regurgitating things that they've heard in a book. They're regurgitating things that they heard their mentors say or Gary Vee or somebody else, right? But think about the idea of fear. Fear is one of the most freeing, one of the most vindicating feelings that you could ever have. Being fearful is actually a natural response to nature, right? If I wasn't fearful, I wouldn't know whether to run or run to violence. If I didn't have fear, I wouldn't know a situation or circumstance that may not be in my best interest. Does that make sense? So when I think about fear as being something that motivates me, it's such, such an incredible positive feeling. It's a positive emotion right? It, it, it's, it's, it's keeping me in alignment with my goals and my vision. So let me move on. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's fear. And then I think to myself, you know what? It's insecurity as well. I'm challenging your thinking here. 
Because the words when you hear fear, you think of something bad. No, my friend. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek. So that means that one thing that you're fearful of could be the, 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 the very gift that holds the greatest, the greatest sum. Insecurity. We, we think about insecurity being a bad thing. You know what? If you're insecure, you're a horrible guy. If you're insecure, you're not somebody that uh, d- delivers to the world. Well, I, I challenge that thinking as well because my insecurity as an extrovert, right, challenges me every single day to make sure that I'm doing better. Have you ever thought about it that way? So I end up texting her back and I'm like, babe, you know what? I, I honestly answered your, your question incorrect. I believe that the biggest things that drive me is my family. Of course, my whys, right? We'll use that word here. My whys is the, the lifestyle that I'm looking to create for you and my daughter and my children. And, and I'm, I, you know, my, my fear, my fear of ever retracting from the place that I've gotten to to this point. My insecurity of becoming or retracting once again to the man that I used to be. All of those things are what drives me, of course, accomplishment. But that's ultimately driven by fear. So I, I, I ask you, I, I, I encourage you to think about that question. What truly drives you? And then I thought to myself, okay, and whose opinions are controlling many of the decisions that I make? You know, when you think about the way that you operate, obviously a lot has been given to you by DNA. A lot has been given to you by your environment. A lot's been given to you by friends. But where do their opinions come from? Do their opinions come from sitcoms or TV? Do their opinions come from their parents? And if you were to sit down with their parents, could you really figure out where they got their ideas from? I heard this incredible story. It was it was talked about around Thanksgiving, right? There was a young lady that was sitting down with her grandmother and obviously during Thanksgiving, everybody prepares the meals together. So uh, the young lady and her grandmother were sitting down and they were preparing, uh, they were preparing, preparing the turkey, right? So her grandmother said, hey, Baby, make sure you cut off the end of the turkey before you stick it in the oven. And the granddaughter was like, I, that just doesn't really make any sense to me. So being curious, she asked her, but, but grandma, why do you have to cut the end of the turkey? I mean, there's more than enough room in the pan and there's more than enough room in the in the stove, grandma. And the grandmother said, well, honey, ask your great grandmother because that, she's the one that taught me to do that. And so the young lady being curious, she went to her great grandmother. And she said, great grandma, why do you cut the end of the turkey before we put it in the oven? And she said, well, baby, I don't know. My mother told me to do it. Go ask your great, great grandmother why we do that. So the young lady being curious, she needs some answers. She went to her great, great grandmother and said, great grandma, great, great grandma, why do we cut the end of the turkey? Well, she said, baby, well, My mother was the one that told me to do it. And the reason she told me to do it is because back in my day, the ovens were small. And the only way that we could get the turkey in the oven is if we cut an end of it. Now, that's an extreme example. But think about the beliefs that have been bestowed upon you over time, right? I think they there was a stat that said many welfare users are third fourth or fifth generation welfare users because of their thinking. So who is controlling your determination? Who's controlling your decisions? Who's giving you the beliefs that have led you into a place where you feel that you need change? What drives you? I want to end with this. One of the greatest things that you could do this year is relieving yourself of the opinions of people that do not care about you. Of people that have absolutely no vested interest in what you're going to do with the rest of your life. I am a work in progress, but the more and more confident I get, I become in who I am and who created me, right? And whose I am the more freeing that feeling is of getting messages like this out, of deciding that I will take control of my life to do everything that I can dream of. This year will only change 
by you making that same decision, by you asking yourself some serious questions. Remember, the quality of your life is going to be in direct proportion to the quality of the questions that you ask about yourself and your life. So my friend, what drives you? We will see you at the top, not from the top, because you deserve it. Do me a huge favor, share this message out. There's somebody that needs to be asking themselves the same questions to discover the talents and abilities that they haven't looked into for years or rediscover or even find them, right? If you have any questions for me, please leave them below. You can find me on Facebook, Damon Dillard. You can also find me on Instagram, Damon P. Dillard. I would love to connect with you. I would love to be able to share with you. And of course, if I can serve you in any way, please let me know. Have a great day, guys.